do. Well, if you have anything, I would go and open, go and get a glass of white wine or a glass of red wine if you have it. It's going to help the cooking process. <laughs> That's the real secret to good Italian cooking. Guys, we're going to get started, but just sort of slowly ease into it, casual. Um, just, just nice and chilled. Take a big, a uh, big, not colander, but a big um, pot, and you're just going to use that to put water in to cook the pasta. I'm using rigatoni tonight, but traditionally you want to use bucatini. Bucatini can be hard to find at restaurants, at restaurants and supermarkets. If you can't find it at a supermarket, substitute spaghetti or rigatoni. Rigatoni you find really commonly in Rome for some reason, even more so I found it in Bucatini. Especially at the lunch places you would go to for the casuals for lunch. So, we just fry. Okay. Fill this bad boy up with water. About three quarters because we will be using some of the pasta water. So just go ahead and fill that up. Just over halfway, three quarters. Just ease into it. We're going to salt that. And when we do salt it, the, um, the rule is going to be as salty as the sea. So I'm going to show you guys how much that is. So we'll just get started together. Get your utensils, you're going to need a couple of things to stir with. I've got my geese beans that Schminky gave me. If you guys watch the stream regularly, you'll know who Schminky is. All right, so, water, ready. Chuck that on the stove, don't turn it on yet. And you're going to need a frying pan. I've got this guy here. I'm actually not going to use this frying pan. If you've got a saute pan or something with walls, use that instead because that's going to help. When you put the pasta in at the end, when we cook the pasta, it's going to be easier if you've got something like this. See how this has got the walls? And that's going to stop it escaping over the side. So, take your pan or your frying pan. Either one is okay, but if you have one with a some thick walls, that's really going to help. Take that, place it on the stove. Don't turn the heat on, we've got plenty of time. I'm still putting some charge in my heck, <laughs> so we've, we've definitely got a second. Um, you guys have just got to so this. Beautiful, okay. Take a colander and just go ahead and place that in the sink. Always make sure everything is ready for when you need it. That way you're not going to get to the last minute and panic. And then you've got to grate the cheese and then you have to drain it. Then you have to get the pasta water. And then it's a big disaster. It doesn't have to be a disaster. Take the time at the beginning to get yourself nice and set up. And then it's always going to be easy. Always you can have fun with it. Always you can have the love in the kitchen. So my colander is going in the sink. Water. Ready to go, high walled frying pan, ready to go. Obviously I need to have the lid ready. Now I'm going to get the head cam in just a second and we're going to start chopping our ingredients. What do we need for this? Well, guanciale is preferred, but it's very, I hate the word very, it's difficult to get in Australia. So you can substitute with pancetta, or you can substitute with bacon. Pancetta, so the order is guanciale is best, pancetta, second best, bacon, you know, third best. So, um, we are using pancetta tonight, that's what I was able to find. If you can only find bacon, okay, that's not a problem, we just work with it. Let me go and check my head cam. Ok, 
takes a little bit longer to charge, so we'll just wait for some people to come in. Might just tell people I'm cooking now. Still chucking a little bit of charge in the head cam. Uh, we won't need it so much. Sorry guys, you're gonna get some feedback. Sorry guys, you're gonna get some feedback. Hey Addy, can you try something for me? Since you're the only person here, I'll tell you. I destroyed the URL for my page, so it's meant to be twitch.tv forward slash feedb. Well, when I tried to change my display name, I changed the username. So twitch.tv forward slash feedb is gone, and I was so upset. It was twitch.tv forward slash fbl feedbeat, because it's meant to look like fb with a space and then feedb. So I destroyed that, was super upset. And my friend and I came up with the concept of what if we relaunched season two and the name is Feedbeat TV. So if you head to feedbeat.tv right now, it should work. I don't know if you try typing that in, it should just come up with a Twitch page. So we're really happy with that. That's going to be our big secret that we rebuilt tonight for now Feedbeat TV or feedbeat.tv which I think is a super cool name. Going to put in all the jumpers on the everything. Um, I'll probably start cooking in a second, fuck it. Drink. Give me one second out of you. It works? Awesome. Did you like the name? Alright. Couple more minutes. You like it? Fantastic. Yeah, I'm super happy with it. Hey, so that's our season two. This is our soft launch we're using tonight. We are now Feedbeat TV. So if you head to feedbeat.tv, it'll now take you to twitch.tv forward slash FBL <laughs> So, um, yeah. That's going on all the jumpers, it's going on all the merchandise, on the slippers, on the socks. Feedbeat.tv, Feedbeat TV, however you want to call it. Okay guys, let's start getting a little more prepared. So I've got my geese beans lovingly gifted to me by Schmicky. Those of you who watch the stream will know who Schmicky is. I've got a glass of white wine. I've got a ladle. I've got a knife just to chop with. Not one that I like very much, but it's what I've got. So put your ladle and your wooden spoon, your wooden spoons, plural, geese beans, plural, next to your and like we said, we've got a high pot, three quarters full of water, and we have a saute pan, which is a high topped uh, frying pan. You can use your frying pan if you've got it. I've got a couple, there's one that's on the wall. Um, but you preferably want one that's got nice high walls because it's going to be good to stir with when you add the pasta at the end, which is the most important part. The most important part of what we're doing <laughs> is the process. We're going to take the guanciale, we're going to fry it off, we're going to render the fat out, which means we don't cook it so high. We don't cook it at six million fucking degrees and burn it and blast it, no. We let the heat come up with it. As the pan is getting hot, we put the guanciale or the pancetta in or the bacon and we let the fat render out so it comes out and then we're going to cook it back in. No onion no garlic. Fry it off, white wine to the glazer to get the brown sticky stuff off the bottom of the pan and then we start to cook uh, the water. We, 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 the water which has been boiled at this point, we put the pasta in, we take two eggs, we crack them, we stir them. You can use the egg white yellow, you can use just the yellows. I'm going to be using just the yellows if I can. If some white gets in, who cares? We're going to take those, 
whisk, 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 whisk with some pecorino romano, which is a, a harsh goat's she or sheep's cheese, sorry. Sheep's cheese with a harsh, salty flavor. We're going to grate that. You can use parmigiano or parm parmesan if that's what you have. Parmesan and the egg yolk, stir, 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 stir. Cook the pasta, drain it, reserving the pasta water in a cup. We add it to the pancetta, which we fried off earlier. We let it cool, let it cool two, three, four, five minutes. Then you add the, um, uh, you, you, you add the yolk and you stir, stir, stir. When we first add the pasta, we're gonna cook it with the pasta water and then we're gonna let it chill for a bit. So you wanna cook the pasta for 30 seconds less than is recommended for al dente. So for example, that is empty of it says, you know, the, the al dente is in 10 minutes, we cook it for nine minutes, 30. Then we add it. Um, then we then we drain it, reserving some of the pasta water. Stir, 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 stir. So yeah, all right, let's get started. I'm going to get a nice glass of white wine. Always nice to drink while you cook in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Alright, let's see if we can get this to work. So we're going to need Part of the streaming experience, guys. Yeah, we're about to go live. Do it. Sorry about the delay there, guys. 
Okay. Much better. Let me just turn something off there. Piggins? That's probably better. Now you can turn it up yourself, right? Alright, so that's my pancetta chopped up. It's been just cubed. Tell me if it's better now, Bigorns. Hi, Ice Bear. How you doing? I have a feeling you might have got gifted a sub the other day. Thank you to Pigorns. Thank you to Vish. 
Oh, do you guys want to hear the good news before we start? Okay, I'll tell you half the story. So, we were twitch.tv forward slash feedbead. I destroyed my username because I meant to change my display name to FB Feedbead. Instead, I changed my display man. Oh, I love you, Pigo. And now we're twitch.tv forward slash FBL Feedbe. But I have some good news. Out of disaster, out of necessity, we've rebranded. We've used this as a chance for season two to come out even stronger. We have a new name that we're going to be wrapping everyone. And if you stick around tonight, I'll be telling you just some news as well. The next three people to put FB underscore or FB poll, FBL, then their name, uh, if they change their name on Twitch, I'm going to be giving them a subscription tonight. So if you change your name tonight, next three people get a free one month of subscription. Um, what we're going to do now, guys, is we're just going to chuck a little bit of oil into the pan. My friend Alistair, who some of you will know, was nice enough to give me this beautiful cold pressed oil. So we're going to use that. Traditionally, you wouldn't use olive oil, but if you've got nice cold-pressed olive oil, go for it. Go for it. We're going to chop that in. Now that heat is a bit shit. So we're going to use this one at the back. Don't chuck it on too high, medium low, because we're going to render the heat out. Render. Addy, what's going on? I spare, no worries, you should be thanking Piggins. I think it was probably Piggins that gifted it to you. Let your heat come up a little bit guys, and then we're going to put our pancetta or bacon or guanciale in pretty quickly, because we want to render the fat out, we want to pull it out of the, um, uh, of whatever we're using. So let me add a little webcam so you guys can see me. Hold on one sec. There we go. What's up, guys? It's Feed from twitch.tv forward slash Feedbee. It's the second series of Feedbee. How's everyone doing? Big shout out to all our people, all our regulars. Thank you to Addy for tuning in. Thank you to Ice Bear, Piggins. Just to let you guys know that uh, we do have a new name that we're going to be repping. It's no longer twitch.tv forward slash feedb. We have a new name that I think you guys are going to fucking love. I'm super happy with it. If you guys stick around for a little bit longer, I'll be, uh, I'll be telling you what that is. The delay on the two cams. Yeah, I know, right? Do you know what, Piggins? There was one time where I managed to get it without delay, and I don't know how I did it. I don't know. You know what, actually? Maybe if I... Maybe if I do this. Maybe this is faster. Yeah, that's better. That's perfect. There you go. I fixed it. At least I think I did. Did I? Like, it's kind of grungy. Eh? Oh yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna start putting the stuff in anyway. I can't get this fucking thing to work properly, so we're gonna remove it. Alright, take your pancetta, or your bacon, or whatever it is that you've used, and we're gonna put that in, um, start stirring that around. So, bring that over. Make sure you don't knock over your glass of white wine like I was about to do, because that would be shit. So, putting this in, you might want to turn the heat down a little bit because we don't want to fry it too much initially. Initially what we're looking to do is to render. Really important that we render. Much love to my boy Schmicky who got me my beloved goose spoon. Just breaking that up, breaking that up, breaking that up. 
breaking that up. Our water, guys, is as salty as the sea. We've salted it lots and lots. Turning that down, guys, medium low. But our water is as salty as the sea. Don't just fry this off initially. Put the heat a little lower. Render the fat out, guys. Render that fat. R to render is to pull the fat out, then we're going to cook it back in. You want to see lots of oil coming out. Don't fry it, you know, super, super fast. You'll fuck up the flavor. This is going to give you much better tasting um, carbonara. This is traditionally how it's made. Obviously, they would use guanciale, but we don't have guanciale at the moment. Instead, what we have is pancetta, so we use pancetta. Don't not cook something, you know, because you have to substitute. It's more than fine to substitute an ingredient. Get yourself a nice glass of white wine, chuck some music on, enjoy yourself. That's honestly the secret to good cooking as well, is be ready to fail. Fail often, but then you learn from your mistakes. I think you learn so much more from a failure than you do from, from a win. Because with a win, you often reinforce bad habits. When you fail, you study why you, why you failed and you come back stronger. See, that's a perfect sound, guys. That's on a nice, low, medium, low. And that's rendering the fat out, guys. See that all that fat's just pouring out. And we're gonna cook that the fuck back in. Real simple. The smell should just be unbelievable at this point. I'm going to be using tonight rigatoni because I don't have bucatini. If I had bucatini, I would use bucatini, but I don't. So we're going to use this instead. There's probably 220 odd grams left. We're going to use that, finish the bag off, <laughs> as I'm known to like to do. Rendering, rendering, rendering that fat. And we're going to cook it for how long? What's, what's good? <laughs> what is? We want to cook it until it's golden brown. That's what we're looking for, golden brown, guys. That's your perfect, perfect moment. See all that fat's rendering out. Really, really nice. Render, render, render. And then we're gonna deglaze it with some white wine at the end. So now that some of the fat is rendered out, we can probably afford to turn it up just a little bit. Just a little bit now, because we render the fat out and then we fry it back in. Use the fat that we rendered out to fry. And we're gonna do it until it's golden brown. And we'll check on the chat and drink some wine. Looks perfect. Thanks, Piggins, you look perfect, mate. Aren't you the best? I wish I could get this to not delay so much. What's a delay like? Oh yeah, that's all right. So Logic Capture doesn't have delay. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Hi everyone. It's B from twitch.tv forward slash feedbeat. That's no longer our address. Are we twitch.tv forward slash FBL feedbeat? No, we're not. I'm gonna tell you guys the news. For anyone who hasn't heard it, we are now Feedbeat TV. That's the name, podcasting, music, Super Smash Bros, Magic the Gathering, WoW Classic, cooking, authentic cooking, community fucking of, of Feedbeat. Now we are Feedbeat TV. So if you guys head to the new link down below, feedbeat.tv, that's gonna take you to our Twitch. And that came about because I destroyed the link by accident. I turned it into feedbeat.fbl.tv, twitch.tv forward slash um, FBL uh, TV, but now we are just Feedbeat TV. That's what we're repping on all our jumpers, on all, on all the stuff that we're making, our slippers, our socks, our, you know, wherever we go. So, yeah. Give me a second, guys. What we're going to do now is we're going to look at this, and you can see all the fats beautifully rendered out, and that's gone a nice golden brown sort of color started to crisp off. I like mine a little bit crispy. You don't have to. Mine's just starting to shrivel at the edges. Can you see that? That's going to be beautiful. I'm going to try a little piece now. Mmm. Beautiful. Now, 
Whilst the water comes up, I'm gonna take this off the heat. No onion, no garlic, no nothing. Really simple. Take our eggs. And we're going to crack. So you'll need two bowls for this. I'm trying to think where I keep my bowls. Um, give me one second, guys. Okay. Two bowls. We're going to use two eggs for one to two people. If you're cooking for more people, while well, you're making a mistake because it won't fry very well in the pan. Carbonara is best cooked for one to two people. So we're going to crack uh, over the one on the left and finish in the one on the right. So crack the egg down the middle. Nice and gentle, nice and gentle. Now we're going to continue to swap between it. So the yolk goes boom, and you can see that the white's coming out. This is a really old trick. You'll fucking love yourself stupid once you learn how to do this. Nice and easy. Swapping, swapping. If a little bit of white goes in, does it matter? Nah, absolutely not. Fitting that immediately. Ready? Bowl. This amount of pressure. Just in the middle, one or two taps. That needed three. You can sometimes do it in one. There we go, now we break, and we swap, and we swap. Nice and simple, nice and simple, moving it back and forth. You don't need to get all the white out, doesn't matter. Just keep it simple. There we go. Into that bin. Now, we want to wash this immediately down the sink that goes. Wash that, put it to one side in your sink. Just give your, give your hands a quick wash as well after that. You don't want to have egg stuff everywhere. Okay, so now what do we do? You want to take pecorino romano or parmigiano or parmesan, as you will know it. Um, if you've got it, that's the cheese you want to use. I've got pecorino and parmigiano, so which one am I going to use? I'm going to use the pec. The pecorino is the better one of the two to use. Take that, and we want to grate some cheese in. Doesn't matter. Give it, you know, you'll be able to see over the top. Grating, grating, grating. Shout out to everybody who's tuning in. Feedbeat TV. That's the new channel. Feedbeat.tv to arrive here. Beautiful. Take your fork, and we're gonna whisk that. Really nice and simple. Stirring, stirring, stirring. Maybe add a little bit more cheese, that'd be nice. Because this is all the sauce is. It's oil, pasta water, egg yolk, and pecorino or parmigiano. That's, that's it. It's all that it is. Stirring, stirring, stirring. Stirring, stirring. And that's pretty whisk, that's all you need to do. That's gonna pick up the cheese. Add in a little bit of salt and some black pepper. Couple of cracks. Couple of cracks, because this is what, well, that's the sauce. There's really nothing in it. So, so simple, so beautiful. The flavor is just fantastic, honestly. We've crisped off the pancetta. We've whisked our sauce. Pasta water is almost boiled. Put everything away as you go. Wrap that back up in your baking paper. Keep the grater because we'll definitely be using that in just a moment. Our water has boiled. Take the lid off. I'm going to be adding the rest of my pasta. Check your cooking time and cook it for 30 seconds less. Really, really important. So this is in 12 minutes. Okay, Google. Set timer for 11 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, 
And now we wait, guys. Guys, I'm going to be gifting out three subscriptions tonight. All you have to do is add FB underscore or FBL in your Twitch name. Be a part of the Feedbeat crew, and I'll be gifting you one month of subscription. So get involved. Enjoy that whilst, uh, whilst the offer's up. So that's our sauce. We can kind of put it to one side. Our colander's ready to drain. We've got our white wine here. We can actually do something that I forgot to do earlier because I'm an idiot. We're going to put this back on the heat. Turn the heat up quite high. We're going to deglaze the pan, which I forgot to do earlier. I was a million miles away. God, I'm an idiot. Make sure you have a glass of water reserved for um, the pasta water. I forget to do this every single time and I constantly tell people how important it is. Turn the heat on in the pan. Just gonna try a little bit of this, deep it crisp up nicely. Mm. Yeah, really nice and crispy. Nice high heat this time. Take your pan, take your white wine, and sort of just splash that in. There we go, not too much. Let that sizzle out, and we're gonna cook it until all the white wine smell has come out. Probably two minutes. Stirring, stirring, getting all the brown stuff off the bottom, and that's going to go back into the sauce and give you the best tasting sauce you've ever had in your life. It's the process of deglazing. White wine and bacon smells absolutely beautiful. Our lid can go back in here now. Make sure you stir your pasta so it doesn't stick to the bottom. I'm using my lovely geese spines, which Mark gave me. Those of you who watch the stream regularly will know him. Stirring, stirring, stirring. Just like that. Cook all the white wine out. Make sure it's all out. Giving it a smell. I can still smell white wine, so I keep cooking. Guys, it's Feed Bead TV. That's the new slogan, that's the new name. Head to feedbead.tv and this is where you'll end up. Thank you to everybody who's tuning in. To the next three people that add FB underscore or some sort of FB before their name, I'm going to be gifting them one month worth of subscription. Stirring that out, guys. Stirring, stirring, stirring. Stirring, stirring, stirring. Getting the wine out. And that's about ready. That wine's come out beautifully. We can turn the heat off on that. Take it off the heat. Stir this. And I'm gonna to have to get a tea towel ready because I don't have a lot here. I've moved into the new home. This is Two eggs, with the egg yellow only, that we whisked up earlier. Salt, pepper, pecorino romano cheese, or you can use parmigiano. Really needs to be one of those two cheeses, guys. Don't use mozzarella or something, will not give you a nice flavor. And we need to make sure that we've got cheese ready to grate very soon. So we can move our chopping board. You can actually afford now just to put that in the sink. I have really limited space, but that's okay. I have really limited space. There we go, that's gonna sit on the side for a bit. Be ready to drain. God, this is gonna to need to go. Aspetta un attimo. Just 
shake that off in the sink. Your setup will obviously be different to mine. Everyone is different. Everyone has a different setup. Making sure you've got your cheese ready to grate at the end because that's going to make the sauce. We're going to stir that in and then you're obviously going to put some on top as well. I'm just going to get myself a bowl, one moment. Alright guys, very close to being ready. Very, very close. Okay, Google. How long is remaining on my timer? You can that. Five minutes left, guys. We've deglazed our pancetta with some white wine, which we splashed in. Really beautiful, really easy to do. I've got my own glass of white wine somewhere, which I'm drinking. Pour yourself a glass of wine when you're cooking. It's so nice, so, 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 so nice. Listen to some music, do the things that you love. That's really what cooking is about. It is so simple. All I can do is follow a recipe, and all I've done is make mistakes a thousand times, which is how I've learned to get better. It's just by doing the wrong thing over and over again. That's pretty much the secret. Thank you to everybody who's tuning in. It is feedbead.tv. That's the new address. Feedbead TV is the TV show. Pour a little bit more wine. Five minutes left. We've got our sauce, which is whisked. All it is, two eggs, parmigiano or pecorino romano. I use pecorino because I had it, which is the better of the two. And some beautiful salt and pepper. Really nice pink Himalayan salt, which a friend of mine gave to me. And some some uh, some pepper as well. We've got this ready for the pasta water. You want to wait as long as possible because the starch is cooking out of the pasta. So you want to try and get it as close to the end as you can. That would be my advice to you. Whilst we're waiting, we can actually grate the cheese into here because we're going to pour it out. There we are. Just grating into a bowl. You can use the same bowl as you're going to use for your pasta, or use a different one, depending on how much space you have. I have a tiny little kitchen at the moment, because I'm not using the big one in my, in my house. I'm using the one in my little apartment. Great, great, great. We're going to add this at the end when we stir our, stir our pasta. It's going to be really beautiful. There we are. Just wrap that cheese up. You might want some more, you might not. Everyone says, oh, you can never have too much cheese. Yes, you can. You absolutely can. Checking, stirring. This has been crisped off really beautifully, deglazed with white wine, nice and simple. Really nice and simple. Just check how long's left on the timer. We get ready to drain. Um, two minutes left, okay. Make sure you've got a glass of wine with you. Thank you to everyone who is tuning in. It is season two. It's Feedbee TV or Feedbee.tv. That's the new address. That's a new slogan. Twitch.tv forward slash feedbead has changed. It's season two, we're growing, and now we're our own TV show, we're Feedbead TV. Whether we've got zero viewers, three viewers, a thousand viewers, I don't care. I wanna make authentic content for you guys. The next three people to put FB underscore or some sort of FB in their Twitch name are going to get a monthly subscription on me, so uh, let me know. And just post down below when you've done it, and then I'll gift you a subscription. Hopefully you're making this along with me, or if you want to see it again, please do come and join the Discord. Let me know which meals you've enjoyed, which ones you want to see again. Because it's streaming, it means I can make things over and over again. It's not like a YouTube video where 
You only make it once. We can make this as many times as you want. This is just my normal cooking in the week. This is how I would cook for myself. Starting up on a diet now, I do need to lose some weight because I've not been so happy. So, you know, my new medications made me put on a lot of weight, which has made me really depressed, but it's all right. Feeling much better. Gonna try and tackle it all. Just get back on top a bit. Nothing perfect. Maybe down to 75. 70 would be the goal, but 75 is okay. That's life. We put on weight as we get older. So just about ready to drain. Going to make sure that we let it cool for a good amount of time, probably five minutes before we add the sauce. All right, 30 seconds. So this part is now we have to switch on, guys. This is really important. Probably move my wine out of the way. Hendepus. Hendepus, I want you to try something for me. Go to feedbeat.tv and tell me what happens. Much love to Hendepus. He's my bully. Back from the school days. All right, guys, getting ready. We're now going to drain the pasta. But before we do that, <laughs> I almost forgot. We're going to reserve some of the pasta water, just like this cup. Reserve a nice cup of pasta water. Okay, Google, stop. Got it. Leaving the heat on because we're going to cook. Ooh. All right, guys, draining. Over the sink. Woo! Panaya. All right. Now, I'm moving this out of the way. I'm actually gonna turn that heat off for a second, but we will need to add it again. So this process is how we make, <laughs> this is how we make the sauce. It's so simple. All we've done is we've fried up the pancetta, as you can see here, we deglazed it with a little bit of white wine. To anybody who's tuning in now, if you take FB underscore or FB and an L, lowercase L, and put that in your username now on Twitch, I'll gift you a month of subscription. That is to welcome in the new era, season two, we are now Feedbead TV. If you head to feedbead.tv, that'll take you to the Twitch. Lots of new stuff coming. We've got our sauce, which is Pecorino Romano, which we whisked, two eggs. We're gonna let that sit for a little bit. Take the pasta, which we've drained, and put into our saucepan. Turn the heat on, nice and high. We're going to do this for 30 to 45 seconds. Take the cheese that we grated earlier. We're not going to use all of it, we're going to reserve some. Big shout out to Henda, thank you for joining. Getting that on a nice high heat, stirring, 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 ready? Now we're going to add pasta water, just like that, the cup. And this is the trick to amazing Roman cooking, is we're going to cook the water out and that's going to give you that beautiful cream. You don't need to use cream to make this dish. Definitely don't want to use cream. You want to add that hot water from the pasta and we're going to cook that out. We're going to add in some of the cheese, just like that. Beautiful. I'm going to add in all of it, fuck it. That's actually come out really nicely, guys. Stirring, stirring. Cooking the pasta out, cooking the water out. Wait till it gets nice and hot. It's going to look a little bit gelatinous at first. Cooking that water out. It's going to cook out nice and quickly. And then once it has, what we're going to do is we're going to add the two eggs that we grated earlier. We've whisked those, pepper, salt, pecorino romana, or you can use parmigiano, just whatever you have. And we're gonna let it cool for two to five minutes, probably five minutes is best so that we don't create scrambled eggs. We're cooking this out over here. Give that a second, let that turn into a cream. It's 
scraping the bottom. Just let that cook out for 30 seconds, you know, to a minute. It's almost done now. Don't leave the water in there, but let it turn into a, oops, my nudger, into a nice cream. Taking a fork, because we cooked that al dente for 30 seconds less than was required. To everyone tuning in, you get to find out early. This is the soft launch of Feed Bead TV. If you head to feedbead.tv, that'll now take you to the Twitch. Really excited about that. We have lots of new content coming. Yeah, that's perfect, guys. Look at that. Just a second longer. That water's emulsifying with the fat. Stirring, stirring, stirring. That's made like a beautiful cream now, guys. Look at that. Oh, that genuinely makes me so excited. I'm gonna try that. Mmm. Perfect. Oh, guys, I'm so excited. Add maybe a little crack of salt. Just some little crack. A little bit of black pepper. Don't want to overcook it. Turn that heat off now. That's perfect. And that's going to bind and turn into a really beautiful sauce. There we go. Look at that cream. So let that sit. Okay, Google. Set timer for three minutes. Stirring that around. Drop that little bit, so I'm gonna eat that. Hmm. And that is gonna be just sensational. We rendered out the fat. We've rendered out the fat from the pancetta or the guanciale or the pecorino romano. Um, we cooked it on a low to medium heat to cook the fat out. Then we turned the heat up and we cooked it back in. That's really beautiful. Lots of oil, lots of fresh oil from the meat itself. Then we deglazed that with some white wine, which took me a second because I fucking forgot. Then we cooked the pasta. We drained it, reserving some of the pasta water. We added the pasta water. We've stirred that in with some more cheese, some pecorino romano. Look at that cream that that's made. No cream needed, just natural pasta water, emulsification with the fat. Beautiful, beautiful flavor. A couple of minutes left here, then we're gonna add our sauce, which is two whisked eggs with some salt and some pepper. Add that in, it's gonna blow your fucking cock off. That's cooking, everyone. And here's the chef. Three to five minutes. I'm being impatient, so I'm going to wait three. Five would be best. But, you know, whatever you can do. Pour yourself a nice glass, glass of white wine. A nice glass of wine. Thank you to everybody who's been tuning in. This is the soft launch of Feedbee TV. Head to feedbee.tv and that'll now take you to the Twitch. The new slogan, feedbee.tv. That's going on the jumpers. There's no more FBL, <laughs> twitch.tv forward slash FBL, nah. No. It's twitch.tv forward slash feedbee, that domain name coming back when we can get it but we are now feedbee.tv. Put that in your, in your bookmark. To the next three people to put FB in their Twitch name with an underscore or some sort of separation is going to get a month of subscription. 20 seconds left. Stirring, stirring, stirring. Right, we're gonna add this in just a moment. Give it a little more of a whisk. That's two eggs. That's good for one to two people. Don't ever make this for too many more. It's just not a good idea. Okay, Google, stop. Sorry, I'll stop. Add that in. Pouring that over the top, guys. Pouring, 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 pouring. Try and get as much out as possible. But to be honest, it'd be beautiful even without the eggs. Now, stirring that in slowly. Don't do it too fast, don't beat it. 
Stir that slowly. Really get passionate about what you're doing. I know that sounds corny. You've got to find the passion and the love when you cook. Don't scramble. Nice and slow, guys. Look how beautiful that is. Honestly, this brings me back to when I was in Rome. All the flavors, the memories, the open, open rooftops, the people that I met. It's beautiful, and I love to share this with you guys. Feedbee.tv. That's the slogan. That's what we're repping. The next three people to put FB in their name will get one month of subscription. This hasn't scrambled. This has come out beautifully. Let's plate this up. I'm so excited, guys. This takes me right back to when I was in Rome. Look at that cream. Look at that beautiful, beautiful cream. We're going to grate. Just a little bit of Pecorino Romano on the top. Look at that, guys. Oh, baby, look at this. That is absolutely stunning. All right. Is that better, guys? Twitch.tv forward slash feedbeat. The meat is pancetta. The meat I uh, I cooked on a low to medium heat. Low to medium heat. Then I turned the heat up to fry it off at the end. We rendered the fat out. We glazed it with white wine. We've cooked the pasta. We've drained it, reserving the pasta water. We've added that with more pecorino romano. Cook the pasta in the pasta water, super, super important. We cooked it for 30 seconds less than we were meant to, and we did the extra 30 seconds in the pasta water. Two eggs, we whisked just the egg yellow as much as possible. Salt, pepper, we let it cool down. We've added that at the end, stirred it through so as to not scramble it nice and slowly. And now we have beautiful pasta carbonara. Guys, thank you to everybody who is watching. For the next three people who put Feed bead or FB in their name, FB underscore or FBL lowercase, FB pipe, uh, and then their name is going to get a month of subscription. Thank you very much to everybody who tuned in. Thank you to Addy. Mm. It's so beautiful, guys. The meat is so crispy as well. It's nice and rendered. I've used rigatoni because I had it at home. Usually I would use bucatini, but when I was in Rome, I found that more people were using rigatoni than bucatini, especially at lunchtime. All the lunch places were using um, rigatoni. Mm. So beautiful, guys. Thank you to everybody who's tuned in. We're feedbeat.tv. Feed Beat TV, that's the new slogan. If you haven't done so already, consider clicking follow. It really helps support the channel. We'd love to see you all around. We play Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, WoW Classic. I cook one to two times a week. I do my recorder practice, health, fitness. Come join the community. The Feed Beat community is growing, growing, growing. 160 plus people in the Discord. It's beautiful. It's so good, guys. And so simple. So simple to make. I just got the urge to make it. I don't know, because I, I like to cook in the week. But I'll make this again. So that you guys can cook it with me. Thank you, NY, for NY Slice for joining the stream. We'd love to see you around more often. Mm. 
That pecorino is so sharp and so beautiful. It's flavor, guys. Mmm. Thank you to everybody who's tuned in. I'm gonna go and enjoy my food. Hmm. Guys, feed me TV. That's the new slogan. The quality of the cheese really makes a difference. Absolutely. And this cheese man is so beautiful. It's from a deli across the road from me. Really, really beautiful stuff. I'm so lucky to, to, to be here and be back in Melbourne. I was in Rome for the last uh, two years working as an opera singer. And I came back because I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia, which has been really difficult. Lots of weight gain, lots of stress, lots of depression, but fuck it. We're going to beat it. We're going to beat it together. Thank you to all our new followers. Thank you to all our new subscribers. Shout out Vish. Shout out Addy. Shout out Hender. Shout out Pigan. Thank you to everybody who viewed the stream. We are now Feedbeat TV. Feedbeat.tv. I have farm eggs right now. The yolks are so bright. Oh, that's beautiful in my size. That's absolutely beautiful. Guys, I'm going to be ending the stream here. I'm hungry. I've been cooking. <laughs> I'm going to sit down with a glass of wine and eat my food. Thank you so much to all of you out there who are supporting me. It allows me to keep making this content, to have a good time, to impart my limited knowledge in the world, which is about cooking, which is about music. That's all I know. Everything else, I'm useless. Thank you to all the people who follow. Uh, we'll see all of you very soon. NY Slice, I hope to see more of you. I'm sorry that you came in at the end, <laughs> but um, I've been cooking for, for a little bit now. Much love, guys. So much love uh, to all of the Feedbeat crew, and much love from me to all of you. Thank you so much, guys. Ciao. Bye-bye.